Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bubble Tees Gaming. Uh, today I'll be teaching uh you optimal batch setup. So like uh, with all the new CCS batch and total attack badges and champion whatever SSS batch and total attack defense and stuff, there is getting uh quite confusing to know what badges is about. Then uh, I was looking at some of the better reports from CCS and like other uh, non max max account and i feel that a lot of people are still not optimizing their badges though so uh for example let's say this is uh, let me see i mean gathering let's say this is the general setup for people playing three lines so you have three troop attack usually it's calf attack spear attack infantry attack and the other one they will be their health and their total attack badges for for me i feel that total attack is only good at uh purple uh, there's some cases where you can argue blue and i do use blue total attack but it's only on situational cases though so for example if this uh you get ra you get rallied and you're playing three lines this is usually the way uh people go so they are Assuming the composition is equal 5 million, 5 million, 5 million, don't count bows. Bows are shit. Unless your max max account and uh, think that the game translation is not broken. So this is usually the what people go to. And so when you get rallied though, so like when you get rallied, the f assuming in 2 minutes and you're playing 3 lines, you must be able to do this in 3 minutes. So step 1, decide your front line and cater. So for example, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, let, let me redo this. So when you get rallied, this is the first thing you should do. So when you get rallied, you go to your city defense and you roughly decide like, for me, what formation I decide is usually against the rally lead. I will look around to see like better reports or I'll save or, or, or I'll scout him and see whether he has troop loss or composition wise or I will have previous better report to make a sound decision though so when you get rallied the first step if for example I'm in infantry uh, defense and I, I want to go spear first step is to do this in okay in mind you must do this in two minutes uh, optimal and where is my uh, Drake? Drake, 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 Drake. So it's good to practice so that you at least know where your commander is allocated. Like Jesus. So this I will be screwed. I'll, this so this scrolling takes me about thirty seconds. So confirm, and I'll set my uh, defense formation to spear. And then for my badges, if I tank in this, I'll be losing out in eight uh six badge slot. Because I have two total attack here. So if I get... Uh, actually, I'll lose out on five batch slot. Five batch slot is equal to 125% health. Or if you have CCS badges, you're, you're losing about 40%. So if I get rally in, uh, and I choose spear, first step is go to your ward and set your commander information. And second step is to do this. Replace all your infantry with spear so this is going to take another 30 seconds so it's actually good to practice if you're rarely thinking that you might be able to do this and due to the fact that i have ccs badges i will equip ccs badges uh just for the defense and one more so you get the logic behind this is just not to lose any like all your badge slots, assuming you have 8, like you don't have total attack badges because those are money or you have very few CCS badges or even your other 12 slots are not, uh, not 12, 4 times 8, 16, 32 slots are not fully optimized yet. Let's say you have blue, in blue, purple attack. You must find a way to do this though. So like I know roughly how many badges I have. And what I need to do. So this will be set for my spear uh spear inf calf. Then I'll be ready to take the rally though. So you must always be switching so that you have no dead slots when you get rally. It's about optimizing and getting the most value. 
and if you're really high level i know some players do this they go to their refinement and they swap out let's say uh, for me if i look at this and i'm getting rallied by somebody i will look at my army size and i will use my or yellow stones to change it to a spear health frontline tanking but this is a uh, next level and uh it's not achievable by most people because like the yellow stones are actually ridiculously hard to grind for so this is the steps that you're supposed to be doing for your bat batch optimization and let's say okay so right now if i have uh this is my setup so when i tank it'll be uh 4 million five uh 6 million 5.5 5, 5 or 5.1 5 5.1 this is uh this looking at this composition right okay let's say if I, I make it a bit more obvious so if i get rallied my infantry will be 3 million my royal calf with 12 will be 6 and my spear will be 6 so 6 6 3 assuming my front line is inf uh, uh spear inf calf my, I would have uh, infantry will make up about less than wait, wait, 35, 35, 70, 30 percent will make up only 30 percent of the composition. So if I get rallied and this is the one that I tank in, I can even choose to take out two inf attack badges and focus more on my front line. So I can put in one more. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, one more let's say like the blue total attack is fine and a blue total attack is fine i can choose to put the green one uh, but this is also fine so you get the meaning of that you must always optimize your batch slot and your refinement slot but refinement is very unrealistic for people though so for now just uh practice switching your badges so and call your front line then the third step will be to call for reinforcement that's matching your front line Yep, and this ideology also applies to attacking though. So, let's say if I rally uh, somebody and uh, I decide to go full on spear. If I go full on spear, my, for my bad slot, I will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dead slot. So, what can I do if I'm going full spear? Simple. I, I sub out the ones for gold defense badges then for my calf i can sub it out to either total uh another total attack total health or total uh defense but if you're not if you don't have the enough stuff the main idea of what i'm trying to get to you is always optimize your batch slot though like don't don't be lazy like just uh switch it you'll notice that let's say for this example uh if uh i have uh this setup and uh i'm wasting 16 batch slot i could for 16 batch slot assuming i have eight total defense or eight ccs badges that greatly increase my death reduction and my attacking is solo soloing with spear same logic applies to calf same logic applies to uh, infantry if you're going dual uh, line like infantry calf you can take out your spear badges and put infantry front or like the second batch would be uh your infantry defense or infantry health infantry ccs or then the second line would be calf if your calf is your front you go for calf attack calf health calf defense so the main goal of today's lesson is to say that uh you should always be changing your badges to match your rally and if you're next level you have a lot of money to burn fuck with your refinement so uh wh when can you change your batch so when you start a rally and you ch you can change your batch after the rally started and when it hits it will take and it will only show the change upon the hitting of a target so let's say right now i have this and i start a rally on the rebel cam i can switch it out to all spear and when the thing hits you it will take the stats of when it hits though so even when it's marching you can change your badges uh, this is just because I feel when I look at the reports, I feel that a lot of people don't play with badges. It's actually a very, uh, uh, sadly that a lot of people think money can compensate. But if you do this to get the slightest edge, 8 batch slot is, it's 8 to 16 batch slot empty is nothing to be, 
look down upon man you can still do some serious damage i know there are some whales who like you can argue that if you want to be totally flexible you go for total attack total defense total health badges and one troop type that is wrong though because if you're doing one troop type you gain uh you lose out on 10 percent uh troop health and 10 percent troop defense and you lose out on like 8 or 80 percent which is really bad though so you must always optimize your bad slot the total attack total health total defense bad setup is only good when you are too slow to change on the fly uh, argumentatively total attack is the only one that i suggest because uh you can always combine that with your troop attack to get once one level higher Okay, so this has been a short lesson and I feel that uh, a lot of players are not doing batch manipulation. So I hope you guys uh, learn something and you can test out the theory though. You can start a rally and change your batch and you see your stats going up or down. Remember, if you're doing a full spear, your calf attack and infantry attack don't matter and like likewise. Uh, I hope you guys have uh, learned something today and this is Bubble Tea signing out.